Brody, Stats with Stats Songer here. Today is Wednesday morning, and check it out. Uh, I did buy some, it's like super high lift, extra high lift blades. Um, went to my dealer last week, got them ordered, and they came in. But I guess they're supposed to cut better on Bermuda. That's what uh, one of my buddies told me, so we're gonna test that out today. But we're gonna slap these on the 48 real quick, and then uh, head back to the house and meet the guys. So. We will definitely catch you guys uh, at the first yard, which, yeah, last week was the, last Wednesday was the day that the GoPro didn't save any of the footage. So we get to record last week's video basically all over again. So that's fun, guys. But all right, we'll catch you in a little bit. All right, so we are at the first yard. This yard always kind of stripes with just regular high lift. So I'm hoping the super high lifts will give it the suction and ease to stripe better. Um, but I guess we'll find out right now. Won't we? I didn't cut it not bad at all. I did double cut it. This way once and that way the first time. It well, doesn't look bad. Honestly, it kind of looks identical to the regular Hilux blades. But who knows? Good blades. Got the blow off here, so we'll catch you guys in the next one. So we're at the next one. It's this little one that we push mow. Uh, it's just Carlos and I today. We're gonna, I'm gonna mow the front and the edge and weed eat. Carlos gonna do the back. But I'm gonna show you guys my bomb edges with the weed eater. Carlos says I'm not good at it, but I think I'm amazing. Weak. Weak, yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> but let's get this done. Check it out. What do you guys think of my edges? Pretty straight if you ask me, but I know there's people out there who could do better. Got this yard done, mowed down, Carlos blew it all. Moving and grooving, rocking and rolling, man. Hopefully you guys all are having a great morning. It is Wednesday, like I said, and check it out. We have all the mowers loaded down, the 36, the 48, and the 60, and then two Hondas over there. Love this trailer. So glad I got this size, because look at that. That's the Toro front wheel. 
and that's the right back wheel. We are literally have uh, maybe a couple centimeters of space. So, fits perfectly. Uh, next couple yards are small, so we'll pick it up when we get this way. So, see you there. Okay, guys, what is up? It is like one o'clock now. And uh, so we got all the small yards done. Next we're at the big acreage properties. Uh, this property is always nice to mow. Carlos is in the back with the 60 inch Toro. Show you guys him in a little bit, but we're gonna we're gonna start with this side over here and work our way back. But I'll go show you guys Carlos real quick. Okay, so here's Carlos coming with the big 60 inch Toro. <laughs> As you can see, his stripes are pretty straight. You know, it's just weeds. And we're cutting it two and a half inches. Well, this mower is great, doesn't bog down. Cuts this field like a dream. You guys see that? He gave us a sheesh. That's funny, but all right. I'm gonna start mowing, let's get this done. Look at this, guys. Look at Carlos, man. He's taking a nap on top of the trailer. <laughs> Okay, so just got done mowing. Uh, I will say the super high lift, extra high lift, whatever they are, they are kind of striping this Bermuda grass a little bit. I mean, a little more than the regular ones, that's for sure. I'm assuming because just because it has more suction. Um, but just finished up mowing here. Carlos is taking the 36 because there's a big white fence back there. So he's taking that back there to do it. Yeah, there's some stripes, just a little bit. But while he's doing that, I'm gonna start blowing off. Uh, not gonna record the blowing off, but man, it is super windy today. I mean, I was, the hats flying up and all the grass just blowing all down the road, man. God, that's the worst. But all right, we're gonna get this done. Catch you guys at the next big one. We're at this next one. Nice house, nice property. Uh, I'm curious if the right will strike, because it normally does strike without those extra high lift blades. So it'll probably look pretty good. So, let's get this done. Well, you can definitely see some stripes. It may honestly look better on camera too than it does in person. But 
Uh, we're going to finish up here. Probably not going to record the next one. So we'll catch you guys when we're back at the shop later. All right, everybody. So we are back at the shop. It's about 5 o'clock. It was a long day. Here is my question for you guys. So a couple, eh, probably a couple months ago, maybe about a month ago, it was a little bit after I stopped recording videos. And guys, so what was going on was we were mowing and uh, Carlos was blowing off and the neighbor comes out uh, of the yard, which guys, by the way, we were not even on the property and we weren't even blowing stuff, which is what they accused us of. They said, like, hey, if you guys don't stop blowing grass and you know, clippings and stuff into our yard, we're gonna call the police on you. And you know, Carlos called me over and I was like, what, you're gonna call the police because you're saying that we're blowing grass in your yard? And he was like, yeah, look. And then there's literally, like, I'm pretty sure it was from his mower, because I've seen him mowing, he mulches the yard. He doesn't even bag it. And mind you, we were bagging the yard that we were mowing, so there really wasn't much grass to blow to begin with. And, uh, but yeah, the guy said, well, you know, we're gonna call the police on you if you keep doing it. And so we were, I was like, I just told him, okay, whatever. I didn't wanna, you know, I was, I was really mad that day for whatever reason. Didn't wanna get into it with him, so I just said, okay, whatever left it at that and then next week we're mowing he calls the police and a police officer shows up and asks he asked you know took a report asked each person what happened and uh pretty much he just kind of laughed like he was talking to me he was like this guy just seems like a crazy old man i wouldn't you know i don't think he's gonna be able to do anything about it and you know it's he's just you know crazy and so yeah the police officer just like i said he just took the report and uh that's really all that happened um the guy the guy just hasn't said anything since then so maybe he, the police officer told him, you know, that's not illegal. Even if they were blowing stuff in your yard, it's not illegal. Um, so I don't, I don't know what he said to him, but the guys left us alone since, and that was about a month ago. So glad about that. But uh, guys, it was a hot one today. We are done and I gotta go edit this video. It's already five o'clock. I'm not gonna have any time to do anything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was a long, long day, as I said, but we will, my record on, Thursday, which is tomorrow. Fine, not we'll have to see. Maybe do it on Friday. So we will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.